Stacking on chips high, Mac and then we get fly. Stacking on chips, gonna push all in, gonna push all in, all in. Yeah, I'm in the spot. It's a long time coming. Um, I'm gonna check my bro at his game. It's been a long time, man. Allerton, you know what it is, the Kings, baby. I'm gonna play this five-five game. They're probably playing with a rock. It's kind of, it's probably gonna be like five, five, ten, or twenty <laughs> up in this motherfucker. But I got the itch. I've been trying to, I've been dying to play. So I want to get it together and uh, see what I can do over here. See how they um, how they change the spot around. I heard there was some major renovations, so I'm trying to see that. See what this alligator skin rail is like, you know. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna um, check in once I get settled in. This be that view from the top floor. That pocket full of guap, but yeah, I want more. Jumping off the rooftop, sticking that. Landing on the city streets, whipping in the coop drop, swerving the meaning of my niceness. Ashtray full of my celebratory vices. Reminisce on all the sacrifices. All the late nights turn to early morns. All the blood, sweat, and tears lost. Shit is priceless. Sipping on a macchiato. It's like the moment when Rocky be Drago Mike Jack at the log in the Apollo Mike Tice listening to custom motto LT rushing off the edge, yeah this suits me Truly, my tailor makes a custom model Philosophize, Aristotle The fucking scheme is nothing genius Hold power like a wino clutch the bottle Perhaps you find it as fascinating as I do How a man change the whole world we are back and this is the first time we are playing plo on the channel we pick up suited kings in the cutoff we're going to make it 50 to go there are several aggressive players at this table and we are not sitting deep there are way more bigger stacks at the table than us i have to watch out for bobby in seat three on my immediate left who's super aggressive and also ace in seat five who's sitting super deep i make it 50 to go bobby calls as well as the player in seat eight the flop comes queen three ace two hearts we pick up the nut flush drawer the action checks to me and i'm gonna bet 100. bobby makes the call and we go heads up to a turn the two of spades comes on the turn and i'm gonna represent the wheel i'm gonna bet 200 bobby's gonna make the call The nine of hearts gives us the nut flush. We probably should have checked to induce a bluff from um, an aggressive player, but we go all in and Bobby snap folds. In this hand, we pick up ace, king of diamonds in middle position. The action limps to us and we're going to raise it up to 50. Seat four and seat eight call and we go three ways to a flop. The board comes three, deuce, five, rainbow. Action checks to me. I bet 75 and only seat four calls. At this point, I think my ace high is good, but even if it's not, I still have a gut shot as well as a backdoor flush. The turn comes to King of Hearts. I bet 110. He's going to make the call. And with this card, there's no doubt in my mind that I'm ahead. And even if I'm not, I can still draw it to a wheel. The Ten of Clubs comes on the river. I bet 100, and he folds. And we take it down. In this hand, we pick up King 8 offsuit in the straddle position. Three players call the 15 bet, and we go to the flop four ways. The flop comes, seven, five, six, rainbow. We actually pick up an open-ended draw. I'm gonna bet 25. I get two callers going to the turn. The turn brings the four spades, so we actually make our straight on this card. I bet 80, and seat one raises to 180. I'll make the call. The seven of clubs comes on the river. Seat one bets 200. I make the call. We end up chopping as we have the same straight. In this hand, we're back to PLO and we pick up suited aces in middle position. 
There are a few callers of the straddle to 15. When it gets to me, I make it 50 to go. Bobby on my left calls. And there's a player in seat four, I believe, that goes all in for 85. So few people are going to call the 85, but that opens the action back up to me. When it gets to me, I actually pot it. At this point, there are way too many people in the hand, and I need to push people out. My raise is a little over 500. Everyone folds, and we isolate the all-in player, and we go to a runout. There's a lot of dead money in the middle, as a lot of players call the 85 all-in. In the end, we hit trip nines, but I believe our aces were good enough anyway. In this hand, we pick up suited tens on the button, and we're going to call the pre-flop bet to 45. We go to the flop four ways. The board brings an ace and two eights, so we flop trips. The action checks all around to me. I make it 60, betting into 180. Everyone folds except seat one, who goes over the top all in for 210 more. I make the call and we go to a run out. I don't really like how I played this hand. If the board pairs and the opponent's given an action like that, he probably flopped the boat. And that's exactly what we find out here. The opponent turns over ace eight, flopping the boat, and we needed a lot of help. I believe only running tens could have helped us. So we're gonna lose this pot and move on. Pick up a double suited ace queen in the hijack. We call the raise to 20, and we go to a flop five ways. The flop comes jack 10, deuce, rainbow. We pick up an open-ended straight draw. Ace is gonna lead out for 25. Seat seven, seat one. Myself and Bobby call, and we go five ways to a turn, which comes to King of Hearts. Seat one best 100, I call, seat seven calls, and we go to a river, which brings the five of hearts. The action checks around, and myself and seat one are going to split this as we both have ace queen for Broadway. I swear to God, bro, when that heart came out, I'm like, in this hand, we pick up red kings on the button. Six players limp. I raise it to 50 when it comes to me. We go four ways to a flop. I am not okay going to the flop four ways with pocket kings, but when the board comes eight, two, seven, I feel pretty good. I lead out for 110. Seat four goes all in for 250. I really don't know what this player has. He's new to the table and this is one of his first hands playing. I'm just hoping he doesn't have two pair or a set already. We make the call for 140 more and go to a run out. The turn is the 10 of diamonds and the river is the seven of spades. The opponent is gonna show pocket nines. So we're gonna take it down with our kings. Okay, we're back with another PLO hand. We are double suited with king high. We're on the button. Uh, this is a straddled hand. So it's $25 to call. Six players call the 25 before the straddler makes it 100 straight on his option. We go to a flop four ways. The flop is king, four, queen, two clubs. We have top pair and also an open-ended straight draw. The action checks to seat six. He goes all in for 350. All fold to me. I make the call. And seat five actually calls for less. So we're going three ways to a run out. Listen, listen, listen. I know I probably shouldn't even be in a hand. There's two clubs on the flop, and I don't have a club in my hand for the redraw. But sometimes I love the action. I got to play. Yes, I can admit, I'm a fish. Seat five is going to take down the main pot, but we're actually going to take down the side pot. We win with two pair. Two pair is never good in Omaha. I can't believe I won that. Seat six player probably only had the club draw. <laughs> In this hand, we pick up suited pocket sevens in middle position. We limp in. Bobby on our immediate left makes it 20 to go. We go to the flop five ways. The board comes seven, ace, nine. So we flop a set. I bet 50. Seat five calls. Seat seven calls. The turn card is the jack of hearts. I bet 100. Seat five calls. Seat seven calls. The river brings the four hearts. Seat seven goes all in for 570. I end up making the fold. Seat five folds and seat seven mucks and I never know what he has. Did I just get bluffed? 
Let me know in the comments section what you would have done in this spot. In this last hand we're going to cover, we have an ace with a suited king 10 in the hijack position. This is a straddled pot. Five players call the bet to 15. When it gets back to the option, the straddler bets 25 more to make it 40 total. Five players call. The board comes king, three, jack with two spades. We have top pair, top kicker, and also the spade draw. Player in seat seven bets 200. I call, Bobby calls. The turn is the eight of hearts. Seat seven pots it, which brings the bet to about 800. I make the fold. Bobby calls for less. Seat seven shows a set of kings as well as a jack. He's basically waiting for the board to pair. The seven on the river actually gives Bobby the straight as he shows 89. So Bobby's gonna take down this last hand as we close things at 3 a.m. Man, <laughs> I was up like maybe five, 600, got caught up in the PLO hand. Man, I had a crazy draw with the pair and uh, just missed. Dude potted it like 800 was the call. I didn't have the nuts, and, you know, it was, it was just way above my situation, so I, I folded, and uh, that's just it, it's getting late, you know, I got somewhere to be in the morning, so we're gonna wrap this up, so in the game for five, play for like three hours, uh, and so I'm out the game, like, maybe like just shy of 600, so I'm like up like 80 or 90 on the session, but I got some really good footage, and it was good to connect with some old friends you know this pandemic uh you know we you know games is moving this private game over here is pretty cool i'll probably be back real soon you know all right i'm gonna keep y'all uh abreast of things to come april 9th we go in the parks so catch us out there all right join us whatever um on instagram there's gonna be more information so you can catch us uh for real on there with the location um, I'll be posting where we're at, like, exactly, so you can find us. All right, so let's link up. Let's do this. I'm out of here. Good night. Peace.